this is Melanie Ross from MentoringMastery.com with a word on successful mentoring relationships. A mentoring relationship is just like any other relationship. It requires nurturing and building to be successful. So recent research has actually identified a number of elements that will positively impact the outcomes and benefits anyone receives from a mentoring relationship. Now that research was based on work from Dr. Sharon Strauss. Uh, her publication was in uh, an academic journal and it's called Characteristics of Successful and Failed Mentoring Relationships. And this is research that's just published in January 2013. So let me take you through the model from the top right around. So reciprocity. It refers to the two-way nature of a mentoring relationship. Um, for the successful for the relationship to be successful each party has to gain benefit from that relationship if it's all one-sided or all one way uh, it doesn't tend to work as well so the research demonstrates that if there's a benefit and reciprocity occurring then that will develop and maintain a productive experience the next element that people identified as critical was mutual respect um, now you don't necessarily have to like your mentor or your mentoree uh, you don't have to necessarily want to spend a lot of time with them outside of the mentoring relationship but there needs to be a level of respect um, and that needs to be demonstrated um, in terms of respect for their time that they're devoting to this process so um, you know example be on time to events uh, keep to the time frames that you said if it's going to be a one hour meeting keep it to a one hour meeting if it looks like going over just get permission from each other that's okay um, it's also about respecting the effort that people put into the relationship and the process and it's also respecting the experience people bring to the relationship so if you can recognize what the other party has to offer you and you can respect the time the effort and the experience they put in and if both of you do that then that's going to help to build a productive relationship moving around the third area there is clear expectations um, and this is one thing, this research on this level of this element is absolutely 100% agreed with me because one of the biggest issues I find with mentoring relationships that I've been involved with uh, over hundreds of, of couplings is that the lack of expectation being set up front. Um, people are a little bit too ready to rush into the mentoring and content process before setting up the groundwork and that's a really critical stage which is why we spend so much time on it in the workshop so it really needs to be set at the first meeting and then periodically reviewed as that mentoring relationship develops over time so it's about being held accountable to those expectations as well so being clear up front what's in and what's out uh, what one will one party will provide what the other one uh, will not provide uh, what the time frames are that you're prepared to work to what the content that you're prepared to discuss us is um, how you'll be contacted all of those things we talked about uh, in the workshop on the setting expectations is really critical I'm so pleased that this is backed up by research now so make sure your early meeting and it might be one or two but usually your first one is enough to really be clear on what the expectations are of each other and of the mentoring process itself and then check in every now and then to make sure you're still on track with those expectations fourth point we move around to is connection personal connections as I said you don't have to like the other person necessarily but there has to be some sort of connection where you're you're operating from a point of mutuality so in that sense if you find that coming to the meetings uh, is not something you enjoy because you just really can't find any connection with the other individual you're going to have a problem making that a sustainable relationship over the period of the mentoring so it's about looking for well, what do we have in common and again this comes back to the first meeting um, and even before the first meeting um, but it also is one that you continue along the way so at that first meeting or pre-meeting just discuss your lives uh, what you like what you you know whose football team do you follow um, what food do you like where do you go for you know entertainment is it the movies is it the club whatever um, really just about finding some points of, of 
mutual content that you've got in your life so it could be that you've, you're both married with kids it could be that you're both career oriented and, and haven't really thought about traveling it could be that you um, you both love riding bikes at the weekend who knows it's about finding a point of connection so that you've got a little point where you can say yes we're two people in this together rather than just two individuals fourth point that we come around to sorry the fifth point that we come around to is values now values are a bit hard to really assess um, but the more aligned or the more shared the values are between the parties the easier it is to operate as a sustainable mentoring relationship so where you've got some alignment in um, your values that you have a similar level of I don't know integrity or honesty or you know family first or whatever it might be um, and then you share a similar approach to the organization um, it's your career and your personal life so it could be any or all of those areas but if you come from a position where it's diametrically opposed to the value system of the other person it's really hard to do things like build a connection and have some mutual respect so really all of this points to really setting up the boundaries and the expectations and the rapport early on and then continuing that build throughout the relationship to get those points that will help to sustain a, su a successful relationship so that sense of mutuality of reciprocity that both parties get something out of it that sense that you both respect each other and what you bring to the relationship the sense that you both have a clear understanding and a set of expectations of what will be happening going forward uh, that you both can find some point of connection that you both share and that your value systems are in some way shared or aligned with each other and again those things you will only find out from having conversations that are outside the direct content of the mentoring itself so explore each other's backgrounds history past personal lives etc um, without getting too in-depth um, but you know it's just that social level that we want to get to to build a relationship from there so hopefully that's been a benefit to you uh, if you haven't done much in terms of setting expectations and clarifying uh, where your points of connection are or what your value systems are and so forth then spend a little bit of time on that at your next two or three meetings just so that you do round that out because that will help to build that relationship over time this is Melanie Wass I look forward to speaking to you again soon mm -hmm.